It is time for Let Carm Cook, week seven of the NFL season, uh, two and three last week. We are going to have a better week this week. And I've got five games. Uh, you may like them, you may not like them, but they are the best games we can bet on this weekend. Uh, guys, if you like this content before I get to the games, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, join the ever-growing community here at Wager Talk. Hit that like button as well and drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know if you think I'm going 5-0, and 0-5 or somewhere in between. And let us know what your best bet is this weekend. We are starting it off in London. Yes, we are heading to the UK again. Listen, if I told you, if you told the Patriots at the beginning of the season that uh, heading into week seven, they'd have the same record as the Jags, they would gladly have taken it. But uh, no, they are both one and five heading into this weekend. And I'm glad that they stuck this one in London because uh, by the time this is over, we are ready for the real games at 1 p.m., Jags were mauled last week by the Bears. Uh, the only positive was that they got to stay in London. They didn't have to travel back and forth, something the Pats have to do uh, in traveling there. I think one of the keys to this game is the Jags are going to have to do something that they haven't done all season long. They are going to have to increase their blitzes, get on Drake May, put him in a position where he's got to use his feet to scramble, get him in a position where he's got to try and find guys downfield one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, he's not going to beat you in one-on-one -on -one coverage. I haven't seen it yet, uh, and I don't think we see it here. The Jags get enough points to get the cover here. We'll take the Jags minus five and a half. Seattle plus three. Now, this is another game. I'm a big fan of the Falcons because I have a lot of future bets on them this season. But they're coming off three divisional games and three wins. And this does feel like a letdown spot, laying only three points in this one. If Geno Smith can get back to what he was doing at the beginning of the season instead of tossing up INTs like he has the last three or four weeks, I think Seattle gets the outright win here. And if not, they lose a close one in which they cover with getting the plus three points. All right, we're heading West Coast here. Los Angeles Rams, not only a fade on the Raiders, uh, they've been blown out in their last couple of games and they're not looking good at all. But this Rams team, despite their injuries, are starting to play better. Their offensive line has been together for three to four games. That cohesiveness means the running game has improved. You got Stafford who has some targets that he can throw to Rams by 10 plus here. I, I, they get the win over a bad Raiders team. All right, San Francisco. Yes, I can hear my wife already chirping in my ear. Do not bet against Mahomes. Do not bet against Mahomes. If this was a Super Bowl, I would take Mahomes. But it's not the Super Bowl. San Fran laying a point here. Their defense is, is better than KC's. Uh, KC, obviously, we know about the injuries to their offensive weapons, which it makes it that much better for San Fran. I think Purdy and Co. get it done, get the win here, and send Casey home with a loss. All right, final game, Chargers minus two and a half. Listen, the cards have been entertaining this season. Scoring points, Carter Murray all over the place, but this is still a two and four team. Their wins came uh, 41 to 10 over a decimated Rams team. And then they uh, beat a San Francisco team dealing with injuries of their own and collapsing in the fourth quarter, allowing 11 points in a 24-23 loss. I like this Chargers team. They're playing extremely well under Harbaugh. Their only losses came to Pittsburgh and KC, two teams with very good defenses. That's something Arizona does not have. This is a team that has allowed 29.8 points per game over the last four games. The Chargers get theirs. This is a win for the Chargers and a cover. Guys, there you have it. Five games. I'll recap them in a second. Up for this weekend, uh, a college football card. Three plays. 11-0 and 0 in college football the last three weekends for me. You can grab that over at Wager Talk. And a 5% play loaded for Sunday in the NFL. You can grab all of those plays. Grab a one-day all-access that on Friday. And that covers all of the games, including NHL and any European football as well. All right, there you have it. Jacksonville, minus five and a half. Seattle, plus three. Los Angeles Rams, minus six and a half. San Fran, minus one. And the LA Chargers, minus two and a half. Let's hope we're cooking this week. I cannot afford to burn down the kitchen. Let's get some dubs.